Hi there. In this video, uh, I'm going to continue looking at operations processes uh, and the transformation processes, uh, but more specifically dealing with technology, task design and process layout. Um, so firstly with technology, there, there's two types of uh, technology um, that can uh, uh, help the transformation processes within operations management. Um, one of them is office technology and with the advent of new types of computers um, and what you can do with computers, um, it's meant that the administration side, the organizing side, the planning side of the operations processes um, has been a lot easier, okay? And with that as well is also communications, being able to communicate with people around the world, um, you know, send ideas around the world, uh, collaborate on projects around the world as well, has meant that the operations processes has been significantly altered. Uh, the second form of technology um, has been manufacturing technology, more, more importantly, robotics, okay? Um, robotics has made a, a remarkable uh, change to how uh, inputs are transformed into outputs. Um, and with this, it's meant that a lot of human resources, a lot of hu uh, human beings have been losing their jobs. Uh, however, we'll look at that a bit more in detail in the uh, human resources uh, course of the HSC. Um, and then there's two other types of uh, computer-aided technology here, which is computer-aided design CAD, uh, which is using computers to actually help design uh, products uh, as opposed to the human element of it and computer aided manufacture the cam so actually using computers to carry out the process itself to carry out the manufacture itself okay so for example laser cutters um, automatic machines that with a click of a button from the computer will automatically do the work that a human would do anyway okay um, Moving on to task design, this one's very straightforward. It's essentially um, classifying the job activities in a way that makes it so much easier for an employee to successfully and efficiently uh, carry out their task and complete it. Okay, now one of the best ways you can do this is through uh, the layout. Okay, so the plan or the factory office layout. Now, this relates to how the equipment, the machines and the staff are actually arranged or set up within the facility, whether it be an office or a factory, to allow for the greatest efficiency, okay? Now, there's three ways we can lay out the processes here. There's process production. Okay, now this one here focuses on the process. So it's high variety, so very um, customized and low volume production, okay? So this one here, um, more likely in a service industry as well. So um, you'd see the creation of work teams, organized according to the sequence. So, um, you know, insurance companies, banks, for example, will operate on this one here where they've got little clusters around the office set up of what people actually do. One area is for the bank tellers, one area is for the home loans, one area is for um, personal loans or whatever it may be. Okay. Um, the next one is product production. Now, this one here focuses on the product. So, there's a low variety, standardized, and high volume, so mass production. They're churning out millions and millions of the exact same thing, okay? Now, the most common layout for this would be an assembly line, okay? Um, the product starts at point A, ends at point Z, or whatever it may be. It goes through, it doesn't have to move anywhere. The staff members don't walk around carrying things to different parts and waste time. Because it's a standardized product that's looking the same with every single one, you can just put it on assembly line, go from point A to the end, and that's all you need, okay? And then finally, we've got project production. This deals with uh, specific projects, okay? Uh, work sites, large scale bulky activities, skyscrapers, bridges, um, houses, okay? There's a fixed position layout. So the product stays in one location, the skyscraper stays in one location, and the process comes to the site, the workers come to the site, the, the, the raw materials come to the site, the machinery comes to the site. Okay, because it's so bulky. Um, so that's the end of the video. The uh, next one in this series looks at monitoring, control and improvement. Um, however, I hope this video was uh, valuable enough for technology, task design and process layout. Thank you.